<laughs> I think my mascara is running. Um, is anybody else being saved by Lady Gaga's Chromatica right now? It's like the only thing helping me cope with all the shitty stuff that's going on right now. Um, hey guys, it's me, Adult Jeffrey, with my messy um, room in the background. Say hello to the people. Um, Barbie um, from... 60 years ago to Barbie now. Just wanted to let you guys know that this is an adult channel for adults only. Um, these are collector dolls for adults only. And I'm an adult who collects adult collector adults. So um, yeah, keep on watching. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, <laughs> I think my neighbors are running around upstairs. Um, today we are gonna pay homage to Barbie 60 years ago. Well, 61 now, we're in 2020. Um, in 1959, when Barbie first came out, she was inspired by, basically stolen from, this German comic book called Lily, and it was about some like high-end call girl, very sexualized, blah, blah, blah. So what Ruth Handler did was she bought this doll that people gave like at stag parties and stuff, um, modeled after the comic book character, and it was roughly like the size of how Barbie is now and everything, and she created this and this Barbie is based off her she's a teenager and Barbie is like named after her daughter and everything and Ken is named after her son and there's like a lot of messed up fun little history about Barbie but she is the fashion icon that we know today and so we have two very special dolls to unbox we have a reproduction of the original 1959 ponytail number one Barbie but this Barbie has um, a silkstone Barbie's body. Like, it's not made out of any vinyl plastic. Well, I mean, it's made out of plastic, but like, it's not like the original Barbie body. It's made out of silkstone material. And that is why I bought this. I slept on the 75th anniversary um, Barbie for a while. I had no idea like that she had a silkstone body. If she, I did know that, I would have bought her a lot sooner. But um, 75 years is for Mattel, like as the company's anniversary, not the 75th anniversary of Barbie. Because in 2019, like I said, we barely just celebrated Barbie's 60th anniversary. So obviously we wanna jump 15 years in the future in one year. Um, but yeah, why don't we get these two um, we'll take off the top parts and give you guys like a closer look at these girls. So here's the Barbie 75th anniversary box up close. It's that new black and white pink that they've been doing with a lot of the collector dolls. Um, I like it. It's clean and I like that it, um, the black and white actually works really well with the 75th anniversary Barbie motif. This is the back of the box, which clearly states Silkstone Body. Jesus, I was not paying attention. Anyway, I'm glad I got her. You can go ahead and pause that if you want to read that. And then here is the front of the 60th anniversary um, Silkstone Barbie um, honoring the original 1959 Barbie. And she is called Black and White Forever. Um, here is her little um paragraph if you want to pause and read that and she is in a big old box and i absolutely love it okay and i just took off the top part of the box so we can get a closer look at barbie you can see some of her blue eyeshadow her white iris her big old pointy eyebrows everything she's an incredibly good reproduction of the original doll she even has like that weird 
metal stand that goes up inside of her feet. But yeah, with all the benefits of a silk stone body, and we all know how much I love silk stones, there's even like her little sunglasses and everything. And then black and white forever is, I checked her already just to make sure her head wasn't falling off. A lot of people who bought these off Amazon, they were showing up with their heads like snapped off. But here she is with her beautiful black and white skunk hair. An homage to the blue eyeshadow and everything. Um, I love her little earrings. The only thing I wish they would have done is just give her kind of like a little necklace to play with. Other than that, everything else I love about this, this giant ass striped um, gown, which is obviously an homage to the black and white striped swimsuit on the original Barbie. She does have opera gloves and everything, which I always love on the silk stones. And this dress is huge, like, it's just coming out. I absolutely love this. But why don't we get these girls out of the box and give you a closer look? All right, guys, and here are our girls up close. We have the swimsuit girl out of the box on her little stand. It is the one where the metal pegs stick up inside of her feet. There is her certificate of authenticity, everything. She has the little tag on her hand, and these are the most sophisticated sunglasses I've seen on a reproduction. They actually have like really good little hinges and they're thick and they rest right on her little earrings that I'm pretty sure are gonna give her green ear in the future. I think they're like full metal. And then black and white forever out of the box. You can see her really pale skin, everything like that. Um, she does have the saddle stand for the silk stones, which I love. It's so much better than the old ones. You can see her petticoats. Um, she does have the classic um, silkstone slingbacks on, everything like that. Um, very heavy stand. There's her certificate of authenticity. And then we'll come around to the back here and I'll show you guys her skunky hair and her hairnet, everything. She does have actual metal snaps all that stuff, this huge fringed bow in the back. And then the funny thing is, um, because of the way it was packaged, the dress is wrinkled. And so this little slit in the back is showing like the petticoat underneath, but it's actually like a way more detailed dress than I originally thought. Cause that was a big complaint from people is they didn't think that there was a ton of detail in the dress, but it looks like all that details in the back. Um, so yeah, guys, these are our new girls celebrating, um, 61 years of greatness with Barbie and 75 years of greatness with Mattel. Thank you guys very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.